So, good morning. Let me just double check. Everything is working here. I hope the sound is good. If you can comment, that would be lovely. Then I know that everything is working here. Okay. So, let's see. What are we doing this morning? Um, I want to talk about the IDC, the Industrial Development Corporation, and just share with you what do they finance, what do they expect from you, what you need to have in place so that you are funding ready. Um, that is definitely what we will do this morning. Okay, I see there are some viewers in there. Good morning. Just write down some comments so that uh, maybe where you are from um, and then we will dive into it. Okay, so let's, let me see that I can see here the comments. Okay, so what, what does um, IDC uh, fund? IDC usually, good morning Lynn, um, offers finance for in general manufacturing okay they have a couple of where you think is this really manufacturing but okay hey Hetty good morning she is from EC Maritime and Aquaculture Development Corporation <laughs> lovely to see you here okay so what does IDC do IDC has different industries they are able to assist everything regarding agro processing they have done agriculture um, they do some of the they have done also before land bank had some challenges agriculture but they were really really um, picky what they take on i'm not sure what's happening now land bank is coming back they're uh, accepting again applications so they can i assume they will focus on their old area of expertise back again then they also do everything regarding automot automotive and transport equipment. Okay, so they will not um, finance companies. They want to uh, start a trucking business. But if you want to manufacture in this regards, definitely the right people to talk to. They also, let me just I made a list here. So that's why I'm just um, going here through it. So they go, they offer uh, support for everybody who wants to manufacture chemicals, medical and industrial mineral products. Um, yeah, if you fall into it, you know exactly um, what, uh, what they mean. I think I don't want to go too deep into, into details here. They definitely offer um, finance for um, the energy sector. Um, they got some money also from Germany, from the K Kreditanstalt für Wiederaufbau. That's a German development bank. Keep in mind, the German development bank developed Germany. Okay, but they of course also see their um, mandate to help other countries. But then there are usually some uh, um, some restrictions if you want to apply directly with the KFW or they um, disperse the money to any of the financiers in the relevant country. Okay, so IDC can also do um, infrastructure, water, sanitation, telecommunication, logistics, transports. That is something what they can do. Then they also offer finance for machinery, equipment, electronics, so if you want to manufacture these things yeah uh, they have a division for the media and audio visual they have a division for mining and uh, metals and they also have a division for textiles leather and wood products um okay let me just see there are a couple of mark good morning mark william pedder yes Hello, hello. That's our consultant from uh, Benoni in Johannesburg. Ethan is there. Luke is there. 
Adam, good morning, okay, Shimi, <laughs> good morning, lovely to see you all here, really enjoying this, you know that. So, um, I personally love to work with IDC, they are quite experienced, they have experienced managers, so that is really nice to work with them they can give you clear directions they can tell you this is what we can do this is what we can't do um just please if you go to uh, to meet them ask the right questions okay so i had that a couple of times when people came back to me and said yes we've spoken to idc they said they can finance it and then i said yes i'm sure they can did you double check with them how much are they able to finance um that is usually something what they don't uh, um, share with you when you don't ask the relevant question yeah so prepare yourself when you go there if you want to have a meeting with the idc um, and um, have an overview the first thing you don't really need a business plan um, at the first meeting but you need the clarity yeah how much money do you need for what do you need it do you have access to a market and then you can ask them the relevant question and find out if um, if they can help you just make sure that you're not so loud because other hundred people hear that thank you okay so um let me see who else is here um pro assist we want to open a tire recycling npo we need oh sorry that is just jumping here all backwards and forwards um okay so for raising donations for an npo i'm i'm always straightforward with you i'm not an expert i'm an expert in raising capital for businesses that's what i can really do yeah if you want to raise a uh, setup, I don't know, why do you want to set up a business and then want to run it as a non-profit organization? Um, I'm sure the challenge is always, what my experience is that people are mixing these things up. And Paul, let me tell you what you definitely can do. You can have a business and an NPO, yeah? Run two organizations next to each other and then you can clearly separate. Samai, good morning from OBPI Incubator. Lovely. Wayne from Cape Town. Nice. What is the minimum funding? Linda's asking. Um, okay, so the minimum um, investment from for IDC is 1 million rand. They will not um, be able to... Um, to assist we need that yeah okay you want to assist youth with unemployment that's that's good I think you need to have definitely both have a business okay and then have an NPO uh, it makes it easier to raise capital for it okay so um, Luke obviously is also able to assist you there just please get in contact um, if he's an expert there, that's that's absolutely great. I like to connect people here. That is what is all about. Okay, so Luke, you can't hear me. Hmm. Everybody else is able to hear me. I'm not too sure. Maybe your sound is not okay. So Shimi, how would one raise funds to meet the 15% contribution? Because we are in talks with them for 150 million uh, business loan. Um, okay, so in your case, they obviously want the 15% contribution. I'm not too sure. We usually want a little bit more. Um, one portion is definitely to have a look at the, I'm not too sure if you qualify for it, the Black Industrialist Scheme. Okay. And... Uh, then you need i would just uh, i would recommend do a strategic uh, um, session maybe with me then we just can have a look at it there are sometimes some options out there we also have somebody who can finance uh, the 10 percent contribution 
in certain cases okay so and that's why we just need then to have a look and see what's happening there okay so some people can hear me others can't i'm really sorry so it's obviously not on my uh, side um Poor, I see that you share here your email address. Let me tell you, be careful with sharing email addresses. You are getting spams otherwise. Yeah, get in contact. Yes, and your cell phone number. <laughs> get in contact directly. Um, you can do that uh, with us on uh, via two ways. Is definitely use the Facebook Messenger. Please use Funding Connection Messenger. I'm not really using my private Facebook account. Um, and then I also give you here our website, fundingconnection.co.za slash contact. Okay. Uh, on both ends, there's Brent, who's able then to assist you and uh, guide you through the next steps. Um, he's asking you questions so that we can see where you are stuck and then we are able just to help you and assist you yeah um, IDC is like I said before I really really love to work with them experienced partners and financiers they know exactly what they are looking for the the managers you are in contact with they know exactly what they want to see um, and so that is really really helpful they have on their website also business plan guidelines if you want to do that on their own they have specific requirements also for the financial forecast how they want it to be presented um, and they are quite picky with the couple of things number one is the expertise and uh, of the applicant the driving force okay they uh, also expect a minimum of a be level four if uh, you can't uh, do that at the moment they are quite happy with the um, doing with the uh, plan how to get in a couple of two three years to get to the BE level four yeah so there are some uh, some ways uh, how you can structure it um, we are also working together with some BE consultants if you need some help there just contact us and then uh, we can get you in contact there okay so then um, I see there are a couple of questions. Let me just uh, get these few points out. So your expertise, um, number one is uh, uh, BE level four is the minimum what they are expecting. They need offtake agreements. Who will buy from you? Keep in mind, they usually finance uh, manufacturing. So you, it is B2B business what they are concentrating on and uh, the offtake agreements should be with reputable companies. Yeah. So as soon as you go to them and say, now I want to supply all the tuck shops, um, it will be challenging. Yeah. I just, I want you to know what is expected. I don't want to move around here. My, my job is to highlight, to increase your chances to raise the capital dramatically what do you need to have in place yeah all the difficult parts is what you can do on your own and this is a trial and error that's fine but if you want to have a consultant included you need to make sure that you know these things and have all these things in place yeah okay so what else um, expertise offtake agreements some sort of own contribution is definitely something what they want 15%, sometimes even up to 30%, depending on the risk. So that is something what you need to have in mind when you want to apply for funding. And the question is also, um, with a big project, 
maybe you can stage it, you know, so, so make it uh, do that in stages. Sorry. <laughs> so, and that means start a little bit smaller with the uh, portion of your, so that your contribution will, uh, will meet the requirements from the financiers. Yeah. So your expertise, your BE level, your mar access to market, your own contribution, these are the most important parts and this needs to be absolutely clear. Yeah. Okay, so let me just have a look. Um, pleasure and poor, yes. Okay, my wife and I recently registered a startup business in the logistics field and we do not have the necessary funds to buy the trucks or trailer. Okay, we have possible work contracts but can't sign off on any contract as we do not have trucks yet. We have tried for funding but because we can't show turnover yet the funding was rejected. Okay, so you need to have um, these contracts, um, that is great even if you have them not signed or have an agreement with the business that you will raise the capital for it. That's the way how to go. Yes, if you can use C4 or NEF for something like this. Um, transport industry is tricky. Keep in mind the diesel prices are quite high. The profit margins are low because people always forget that they, of course, need to pay for the diesel, for the maintenance, the tires, you know. So there uh, are lots of uh, cost involved. Also something what I like to highlight, um, Ethan, it can be challenging if it is a subcontract. Yeah. So there was a time when there was no possibilities to raise capital for a subcontract. I heard now that they will have a look at it depending on uh, who are you subcontracting with. Okay, Adam, are they able to assist a service business? Uh, IDC will not assist a service business. Um, maybe if you are a service business to a manufacturer, okay, but they are definitely, NEF, CIFA are definitely able to assist. I'm not too sure exactly what, you, what sort of services you want to, uh, to offer. So maybe the best way would be also to have um, either way contact uh, us via the, the two options. You remember I said Facebook Messenger or fundingconnection.coza slash contact so that Brent can guide you and uh, he can then also make sometimes the decision and say, you know what, this is so detailed. It's a little bit more complex. Nothing you can advise quickly then he would suggest setting up a meeting with me or with any of our uh, consultants out there. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Let me see. Are there any other questions here? Yeah. Oh, Daniel is a fundraising specialist. I see him there. So that means he's obviously in the uh, um, space of uh, NPOs. That's good. Feel free to contact him. Um, I haven't worked with him, so I don't know how much experience he has, but if he's offering his services here, I'm sure he should be great. Um, we've got the minimum funding. Okay of other these are all the good mornings so, okay lovely so it doesn't look like um, I missed any of the questions thanks very much for this morning session we will have a next session next week on Monday morning again yes and in between maybe we see us in between just feel free to contact us we are here to help you we are here to guide you um, maybe just at the end who am I <laughs> My name is Dagmar Breiling. I'm the CEO here at Funding Connection. We assist companies to access loans and grants to raise capital. And we do that by drafting business plans, financial forecasts, the support to raise the capital, and lots of advisory. 
Okay, I wish you an unbelievable, successful new week. And you will definitely see us next week, Monday again. Take good care. Bye-bye.